American and um, <laughs> well, I'm, I, I had that gene thing done, you know, where they trace your genes and I'm like mostly like English, Irish and then like a Scandinavian and then something that they can't identify. <laughs> And that explains why every time I see a UFO, I wave. <laughs> no, I just made it up. Man, there's some good looking women here tonight. There's got to be. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. I can't see past the first two rows. It might be different after that. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. I get around, I don't know, I get around a bunch of women, you know, I just, I don't know. I can't be serious around a woman, especially a group of them. You know, what's the point? <laughs> if, you, if you want a woman to leave you alone, just be serious. <laughs> She'll find something else to do. <laughs> Women want to laugh. They want to have a good time, you know? Yeah. They do. <laughs> women, and women laugh more than men do. That's a fact. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> But that's, that's probably why y'all live longer than we do. <laughs> but who are you laughing at, though? <laughs> You're laughing at men, so. Y'all need us to live. <laughs> if y'all were funnier, we could live longer. But no, nah, we, we just amuse y'all and die. <laughs> then y'all go find some other clown. <laughs> but women probably laugh more than men do because of how they're built. I mean, women are built different than men. I mean, yeah. <laughs> They're trying to make them the same now, but they're not. <laughs> have, you, I'm, have you ever seen a, a picture of like a woman's organs in a health book? You know, have they have those pages that are see-through pages and they're like a, they'll have a lung on one page and then a spleen on the next page and it's like, but women's bodies are just jammed with stuff up and they're just, you know, just. It's like looking up under the hood of a Lexus. There's no room to work on nothing. And so there might be like a little extra gland or something up in there that's squirting out laugh juice. And doctors don't even know about it. Maybe they just think it's gristle. <laughs> about the size of a raisin. <laughs> and you know how like 13 year old girls get the giggles and they can't quit laughing? That's cause their raisins are fresh. <laughs> You get an 85-year-old raisin, you got dried fruit. <laughs> you might as well cut that out and put it on your cereal. <laughs> but I like women and I married one. <laughs> my wife is, um, my wife's name's Kimbra and, um, She's a, she's a real character. Um, see, I, 
I met her on one of those dating websites. I mean, you know, it was um, called Slobber Swappers. <laughs> I mean, it's not the cheapest, but it wasn't the most expensive either. I mean, <laughs> but really, really, we met. It was weird though. We met twice before that. I mean, the first time I met her it was after I put my pressure washer for sale on Craigslist, <laughs> and the phone rang. I picked it up, and this voice said, "You still got that pressure washer?" And I said, "Well, yeah. I just took my finger off the button." <laughs> And she's like, uh, and then 10 minutes later, she's at my door, you know, knocks on the door, opens the door. She says, you still got that pressure washer? And I said, well, didn't I just talk to you? <laughs> she was like, oh. and she wanted to see the pressure washer, you know. And I said, took her out there and showed it to her. And um, she said, would you crank it up for me? And I was like, oh, she don't even know how to crank it. <laughs> but she did know how to use it. She just didn't want to crank it, you know. So I cranked it up for her and she just started she went to town on my front porch. She started doing the, the bricks, you know, went down the steps and started doing my driveway, you know, and I was like, no, it's, it's not paved. <laughs> I finally got her attention. She looked up, man, she's covered in mud. And everything. <laughs> And that's when I got interested in her. <laughs> but I, I forgot about her, you know. About three or four months later, I decided I wanted a girlfriend, so I went on the, on the website, you know, and, and her, pic, her profile picture is the first one I pulled up. And it was like, I knew it was her right away because in the picture, she was standing beside the pressure washer. <laughs> You know, I guess like she looked at men's, you know, picture. Men are always holding up a fish or something. You're like, <laughs> anyway, she's we get along good. She's she likes it. She called me. She called. Me, oh no, she texted me a few minutes ago, and and she said, "What's the temp?" And I texted back and said, "Well, that's an abbreviation for temperature." <laughs> And she texted back a, a smiley face that was goofy looking. And so that's our relationship. You know, I, I can smart off and she likes it, you know. <laughs> and she likes it when I um, change up my voice. I can change up my voice, you know. And she'll say, you know, I'll be, we'll be driving down the road, you know, and she'll get that look in her eyes and, and she'll say, do that voice. You know, and I, I may not even, you know, be in the mood to do it, but I have to do it, you know. <laughs> and I'll just be driving, you know, and I'll say something like, Can Geico really save you 15% or more on car insurance? <laughs> She'll be all over me. You know? 